Some say follow the leader, but in this case it could be follow the fat man as Dyson Maida has talked about possibly following Ange Postacoglu to bigger and better things on a higher stage. Welcome back guys to Fog Football and could Dyson Maida actually be the player that leaves Celtic for Tottenham. There's been a lot of speculation about players that Ange could take with him and speculation about players that might just be leaving Celtic in general due to the departure of Ange Postacoglu. One player that I don't think has really been talked about though is Dyson Maida, but we're going to talk about him right here right now because he was doing an interview for the Japanese website or at least it was reported on the Japanese website called daily.co.gp soccer now unfortunately for us the entire website is written in Japanese however we have a translator we have a translator we pay big bucks on fog football for the Asian translator and he has translated it for us so that's and, what, and what's he said so this is what Dyson Maida had to say. So he spoke about a higher stage and how Ange Postacoglu has made him realise that Ange Postacoglu has raised his game and now Dyson Maida believes that he can go beyond Yokohama F Marinos. He can go beyond Celtic. He thinks that he is capable of playing at a higher level. Now, when asked about this, this is what Dyson Maida had to say. Quote, I think he is a great person and I think I can play on a higher stage because of what he has built me up as a manager. I want to do the best to be as good as him. End of quote. So Maida saying that he wants to play on a higher stage and he believes he can play on a higher stage thanks to Postacoglu. Maybe he didn't believe that before Postacoglu but now he does. And he believes that Postacoglu is a great person and that he would like to play alongside Ange Postacoglu again. Well, when I say play alongside, I mean play in the same team as Big Ange. So, could we be looking at a Dyson Maida? Now, does he necessarily mean that he wants to move to Tottenham? Or does he maybe just mean that, look, I would also like to move to the Premier League, but perhaps in a different team from Ange Postacoglu? Well, you know, mate. Uh, I'd love a wee Dyson Maida down here, and uh, yeah, you can help me deliver my Burger Kings to my Tottenham training room, so yeah, I'm all for this move. Oh yeah, it's pretty quick, like, you wouldn't have to wait long on the delivery. You wouldn't, you see if Dyson Maida did just eat, wouldn't he need to fucking get a bicycle? You just run. No, we're going to lose that spastic Harry Kane, so might as well bring Dyson Maida down here. Yeah, it's a 12 hour shift, just him, you know, he's got good stamina, like, you just run, you could run to White Hart Lane to, I'm well, not White Hart Lane, Wembley Stadium to, no, not Wembley, what's it called? The new arena? London? I don't know. Tottenham Hotspur Arena. That's the one. Tottenham Hotspur just, Stadium. Just run for there to McDonald's all day back long. Well, Ange, he was here in the studio, he's just left. Yeah. His, his delivery must be at the door. His delivery's at the door. Anyway, guys, uh, will Might. Dyson Maida be at the door? That is the big question. Will he be one of many Celtic players to go? We've heard speculation about Kyogo leaving. We've heard about Hatate leaving. But we haven't really heard anything about Maida. And maybe we should have, because this is the guy that got picked for the World Cup. Meanwhile, the other two did not. And he was, you know what, he was really good in the World Cup. Yeah, do you think we maybe don't, do you think in general he doesn't get the respect and recognition he deserves? Or is, is he a bit of a, do, do you think Dyson Maida is the Celtic Sakala? Where at times he can look good? But I think Maida's problem is because he can't finish, he suits being... So he is, he is fast in Sakala? Kind of, but I feel like he suits playing for the underdog. I feel like he suits playing for Japan, the pressing game. Because even your Celtic, what good's pressing game when you're got eighty percent possession against St Mirren at home? You know it doesn't really work. Uh, well. I think that's why Maida was good in Europe, but obviously his finishing ability let him down. Aye, so there you go, guys. It's it's official. Dyson Maida is the Celtic fashion Sakala. Not good, not good, boys. So I'd say Sakala's got more numbers than Maida, would he? Do you think Sakala's a better player than Maida? Didn't say he's a better player. I say he's got better numbers. Who do you think? Difference. Who do you think would be better at Spurs? I think Maida would be better. Fair enough. <laughs> even though, even though Sakala's numbers would be better at Spurs, I feel like if Sakala went to Spurs or the Premier League, they'd be like, "Oh, look, it just proves the Scottish league's a farmers league." I think that's exactly what they'd say because because it would. What would they say about Dyson Maida then? I don't know. 
Or you can press. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know, Jeff. Anyway, guys. Just get your fingers out, Cammy. That's it. Dyson Maida could be leaving Celtic. Will he end up at Tottenham Hotspur? Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll catch you in the next one. And of course, until then, peace.